Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? In Stone here today. We're playing at a Edison format tournament at a little Yu Gi Oh store, as you can see. Boom, boom. First Edison tournament, uh, tournament vlog, so hopefully you guys can join me and we'll have some fun. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to just like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. But let's see if I can go X and Zero, go undefeated with my Quick Draw Danny deck. I'll see you guys in there. I don't know if I looked at the camera. But. Alright, where's where am I? And then, uh, did you want a special spot? If you're oh. a uh, would I be able to? Is that yeah, yeah just, okay. uh, just make sure to find your opponent and just tell him. Ask him? Okay. Yeah. There I am, boom. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, game one here. I T pass. What did I say? I don't remember what I said. Uh, opponent, game, uh, turn to future fusions. Wants to bring out a uh, five headed dragon, which is super scary. Not really sure what to do here. Uh, this is my first time playing this deck. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of first times here. Uh, not, I'm super new to Edison, so like things like priority and stuff is really new to me. So I gotta like remember how that works. But yeah, five headed dragon is really scary. Five thousand beater, and also something I've learned with this deck. Uh, dragon Turbo loves drawing a lot, which is why it's called Turbo. Um, their goal is just to pitch a lot of stuff to the graveyard and then draw a lot. Use super reju rejuvenation just to keep drawing from their deck and get everything they need. Um, this deck was insane, so turn this uh, first game out of the match, I am just terrified. Like, my hands are really shaky, I'm like, what the heck does this deck do? Um, they have a lot of drawing power, it feels like they could get whatever they want. Um, really intimidating, and then you can see here, Super Rejuvenation uh, draws into it, or whatever. So he just draws a ton. My turn, I just Kaius, get rid of the Future Fusion, because 5000 meter is super scary. Uh, the card I set was Dandy, so that's why I have my tokens out. Uh, Thumbs out all these monsters. Or oh, he gores me, so I uh, bought on this trap, pulled him. So, you know, can't do much. He has a 2400 token um, here. Pitches a stone of legend to uh, draw two with a. Uh, I forgot what that card's name is, but yeah. Uh, gets his blue eyes in his hand. Uh, Debris for Sardis, yada yada. The red eyes card is insane. I also didn't know that this is uh, at two or three. I forgot exactly, but you could have a lot of them, so. He brings out a lot of them, and they're able to special summon a lot. And pre Red Redeyes, uh, Black Metal Dragon, is insane. Um, he just has so much plus. So as you can see here, four dragons on the field against my one little face down. I think I lose this match here. I'm not sure. I'm not sh really sure what I'm trying to hope for, but it's kind of hard to clear this board, especially with Stardust out on the field. Um, negates like any destruction. So let's see. I'm trying to look for an out in my extra deck. Don't really have anything. I'm like trying to think of a play. I uh, will see. What do I end up bringing out? I debris for Dandy, and then I bring out the Ancient Fairy because it has 3,000 defense, and then I bring out two more tokens. So I'm feeling pretty safe. Kind of hard to bring it out unless you have a monster that I could just destroy it or something. But I felt pretty safe here. I had the Lone Fire Blossom, so I brought out Titanial, so I have more coverage. Uh, what I didn't really, I for, kind of forgot. So Red Eyes and Titanial both have 2,800 attack, so. My idea was I could beat over something, but I forgot that once per turn, they could keep bringing dragon monsters out, so... Kind of pointless to bring her out, but at least I had another body on the field. Uh, I left her in attack, so at least I could bait something. Um, not really sure what, though, but I'm fighting for my life here. Uh, so, he's just drawing more cards. Cards of Convergence, I think that card's name is. Uh, destroys into everything. I still have my Ancient Fairy out, because, you know, I can't beat into it. And then I read what Red Eyes does, and I'm like, this card is too broken. This guy's lying to me. He's cheating. Get him out of here. No, not, not really. Just kidding. He's just, you know, the cards are broken. He's playing a really good deck. Um, Yeah, reading it again, <laughs> I'm so hurt here. I'm just like, what the heck? That card's too good. And then he's just drawing a billion things. Uh, Heavy Storm here, because I'm scared of what he has. Um, He's really low on cards, so he didn't activate the Reckless Greed. It was more of bait, so... Got rid of it at least. Um, he doesn't want to draw anymore. Or he'll he'll uh, deck out. So good for me. Kind of bad for me still though, because I don't know. He has whatever card he needs. Uh, something I'm seeing here too in game one is that uh, the Dragon Turbo deck doesn't really use any traps. So something to uh, think of going into game two. Uh, from Sangon, I get the Super Numble, and then I just lose. <laughs> he just attacked me. Uh, got whatever he needed. I T pass game two. Obviously, I go first. Mystical Space Typhoon, my soul and judgment. That sucks. Um, I was hoping to use that on something crazy, but he just like set and passed, so I just summoned my Vanity's Emptiness. Yeah. So <laughs> I set the Dino card. Uh, that card doesn't let you special summon, and then Vanity's Emptiness doesn't let you special summon either. So I figured, like, hey, 
This six special summons a lot. Let me just side this in. Um, works like a charm. Adds blue eyes from the White Stone Legend, whatever that card's name is. Um, only thing he'd really do here is just draw a ton. Uh, I Raikou him. And then I just beat into him. Uh, if I remember correctly, spoilers, this game goes by really fast. I just have every out. Um, he can't really do much. That Book of Moon, just in case, I believe, just so I can beat it. And he just forfeits. Going to game three here. Um, let's see, what, what do I side in? So I sided in uh, two Vanny's Emptiness, two Dinos, and then right now, as you saw, uh, I sided in Cyber Dragons. I have two. I sided two of them, just in case he summons a machine, so I could just, you know, fusion summon into Chimera Tech, whatever the card's name is. Uh, super easy to summon, really nice. I figured he's gonna go first, because he wants to draw a lot, he wants to have advantage the whole time, so... Get Cyber Dragon just so I could, uh, have a free body, maybe I could tribute him for Kaiosh or something, or for my Vanny's Emptiness. Really easy. I look at my hand here, I thought my best thing, since he, he only set one in pass, was summon the dino guy. Like, he has to find that out for this, so he can't really do anything turn one. Uh, unless he had Book of Moon, actually, but you know, I didn't really think of that, I just said YOLO. Summoning YOLO, so he's looking at his hand right now, trying to figure something out. Uh, Magical Stone Activation, to uh, get the card of Convergence, whatever, to draw more. Uh, insane. Hits the blue eyes out. Trade in, another trade in. This deck is just, he's just something like crazy. Finds the out finally. But Kwaikumiru, I forgot how you say it. The dragon one. That dragon card is insane. Uh let's see, what do I do here? I have the cyber dragon right now, but I'm like a little scared. I think it negates something, like spell traps or like summons or something, so I was just like kinda of scared. Do whatever. And it's pretty strong. It has a thousand nine hundred attack, like the big Beat six, so I'm a little scared. He sets three and passes, and I'm just like, what the heck? What am I what am I doing about this? Is he like bluffing me? Does he actually have traps now? I don't know. So I was like, YOLO, I'm gonna lone fire blossom. I'm gonna save my out, because if he gets it out, then I still I can still just summon Cyber Dragon and beat over it. But I bring out Titanium for free. Um I attack him, and then he brings out Trigodia. Double reckless reads. Insane madman. Um can't draw for like two turns. Uh, but he has all the cards he needs probably. So I'm a little scared about that. He has so many cards in his hand um, I'm just typing in like My life bunch of stuff, but yeah, he finds the out He's targeted or something Trigodio and I just destroyed it Upstart Goblin so I have a little more life points. Um, I have a Trigodio in my hand just in case he attacks me So I'm okay. I have a, little, a lot of cards in my hand too like four or five. So I'm feeling pretty okay if he attacks me uh, There's the red eyes again super scary as you can see there. I'm lo looking at the cyber fusion just in case he brings out machine. I'm scared for my life. I'm like, what the heck? Is he going to attack me? I, I think he did something to where he couldn't attack me, if I remember correctly. But I set one. T pass again. Staying against this board. Uh, brings out the Mask of something. Restrict. Mask of Restrict. So that card uh, doesn't let you tribute someone at all. So I couldn't bring out my Vanity's Emptiness or my Kaya's. He probably had that prepared for me. You know, because I kept drawing the uh, tribute summons, but... It's okay. Uh, I still have Synchro Summoning in this deck, so the special city for a quick draw Synchron. Um, so I'm trying to find something. Let's see what I do here. Bring out Debris for the Dandy. Ooh, what did I summon? Oh, Black Rose Drag in the field. So I think they only run one of for the Restrict. So got rid of that really easily. Um, didn't bring out my tokens for some reason. My, maybe a misplay, I'm not sure. But I had Pot of Avarice, so I drew into whatever I needed. Um, more cards. Yay. What do I do here? I think I just pitch Lone Fire for quick draw. Yeah. <laughs> just because I'm scared of him attacking. But, like, I kind of noticed here that he doesn't really have a lot of cards in his hands. And he also doesn't have a lot in his deck. So, that's pretty good for me. He might deck himself out soon. Uh, doesn't Black Rose Dragon the effect? But I have the Cyber Dragon. So, I tribute for Kaya, Spanish to the Ang uh, Black Rose Dragon, which is really nice. Um,. Kind of fighting for his life here. Again, this deck doesn't really use trap cards. Uh, Turbo, Dragon Turbo doesn't really use tra trap cards, so I was feeling pretty confident here uh, that he wouldn't draw now. I feel like I got rid of all his good monsters. He keeps drawing, just look for something. Um, he has two cards left in his deck. I'm feeling pretty confident. Lightning Vortex is me though. I'm like, oh shoot, I don't have a monster anymore. And then here, I'm gonna slow play a little bit more just so you can see everything towards the end of the game. Uh, his only play was Ancient Fairy Dragon. I T pass yet again. That card here is something nice. Um, 
looking for an out. He wasn't sure if to summon that, but I think this is the only way to bring this card out. Uh, special summons, the fusion monster with uh, whatever that card was, and speaker summons into Rionic, whatever this card is, <laughs> the name is, but I had the Solemn Judgment. Um, again, I'm a little confused about priority, so I wasn't sure. I asked him first for Prio, and I was like, oh, Solemn Judgment. He's like, oh, no, that just happens. I'm like, oh, okay. So he doesn't even get to activate his effect. So the only cards in my hand were Trigodia and Gores. So I'm gonna let just let it play out from here. Um, these last few seconds were really insane, but uh, yeah. It has, uh, no, it has I have no G. I have no I have no hot to. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna that was fucking crazy game. Oh my fucking. Uh, nah, I, he saw my out. That was, that, was, that was so fucking good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I got, uh, he judged me my Brio. That oh was my, my last god. That was my last out. Yeah, that was my last Holy out. Holy shit. I was like, I threw the... Okay, game one. That was the craziest game I've ever played probably in my life. Uh, that was insane. Okay, round two's already up, but uh, if we win like that, I feel like we could probably take the turning. We'll see how it goes, though. I don't know why I'm not looking directly at you guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to look at you guys more. That was a crazy game. That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool to upload. Can't see. I got Hugo. Okay. Fire. All right, match two here. I am playing against, what is it, Frog Heroes? Uh, again, this is my first time playing against this deck, so I don't really know what to expect. Uh, I know frogs have always been really crazy. I know there's some frogs banned in the advanced format. And then, but yeah, I definitely learned now that in Edison, uh, these cards are insane. Also something I learned is that people love their heroes. A lot of hero players here at this Edison tournament, and I think in general, there's always people that play heroes. I mean, I love Jaden Yuki too. Uh, Yuki GX is my favorite, so you know. I would love to play Heroes too, but that's okay. I don't have Absolute Zero. That card's expensive. Anyways, uh, I have Titanio out. I think he added a card. I Mind Crush him. Didn't really matter though. I'm kind of learning that my Mind Crush doesn't matter. Not that detrimental. You're able to like just draw a ton. Uh, maybe if I called the right thing, it could have been better, but yeah. Uh, he Brios my Titanio, so he targets it. I destroy it. Um, Negate that. Don't want him getting rid of that, but yeah. Um, and he has this fish guy. Uh, my hand is kind of dead. I don't really have anything to stop that, so I had to uh, find outs every single time. I just set two for the bluff and pass. Uh, he keeps attacking. I let it pass through. You've probably seen the calculator how many life points I have on his side, but uh, I don't have any outs. I just keep drawing all my traps and spells. Really bad hands. I had to book a moon here. Um, you know, it was... I'm down bad. I'm not drawing any monsters or anything. Uh, worst case scenario is happening here. I have a dead hand. Um, kind of freaking out. Keep attack, keeps attacking. I think I, I had to book a moon again. Um, or no, I didn't book a moon. I just let it go through. Uh, I'm just looking at my face downs for some kind of life. Down bad. Uh, brings out the substitute. I, that's not... I don't know what that is. It's a frog, though. Uh, scary. Very, very scary. Uh... Just has everything he needs. You have a force down. Why did I use? I think I didn't want to just destroy one thing, but he already kind of like beat five points. Um, bounces back to substitute for the scholar-looking frog. Uh, it's looking bad for me. Uh, there's a lot of protection between these frogs, I think, but I, I can't attack any of that or something now. So I had to get rid of them somehow. Um, he's telling me the effects and stuff just so I know what they do. Uh, from here on out, I'm just like, man, I'm screwed. He has so many monsters on the field. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, I think I tried to solve judgment. He's like, he can't. I was like, okay. <laughs> because of monster effect. I don't think I can target it or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but... Uh, yeah. Again, obviously, obviously you can see that this is my first time playing against this deck. No idea what's going on. Uh, don't know what to do. Very difficult. I'm having a bad time, okay? Very, very bad time. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, he just has a full board, so it's just kind of stalling. He's just kind of explaining things to me, just like, hey, this is what this does, this is what this does. Um, I'm Air Force, finally, because he had too many things faced up. I uh, got rid of them. 
think I kind of helped him though. I think he had stuff prepared. I still am judging that because I have nothing else. Uh, scared of him, synchro summoning. Beats into my. I flip into my super nimble so I can bring out Raikou so I can destroy one of them. Um, this game's going long. This game, this first game out of this match is going very long. Um, I'm finally drawing to some cards. I shuffle my deck a little bit just so I could see some different things because, oh my god, I am drawing into poop. Raikou. What did I target? Like, dang. All those mills were terrible. I Raikou again for enemy controller. He grabs my super nimble so I don't attack into anything. I set one in my turn. Um, none of those mills really helped me. I have a 1 for 1 that's just dead in my hand. Uh, not going well. I have 1 for 1 because I have level eater and Shreepwind Frog in my deck. Thought that was a good idea. Was well, not. Definitely not. Level eater never came up. Uh, going real, real bad. What does he do here? He's looking at his monsters. I'm terrified. Toad. Whatever that card's name is. I don't know. I hate it. I 1 for 1 here. Ooh, I, I drew the dandy. What am I bringing out? Ooh, I bring out the level eater. Wow. I have two tokens here. What am I summoning? Am I, I'm crazy. What am I doing here? I have a little cards in my deck left. I already kind of milled a lot. Don't really have enough in my deck to do much. What am I trying? Am I, am I pulling out the sleeve? What am I doing? I don't know. I'm doing my best, man. I just bring out a lot of bodies because I'm scared. Uh, I haven't drawn into the monsters that I need. It's going really, really bad. Uh, that Treeborn Frog is getting him a lot. He pot of Adverses. Uh, this is just looking curtains for me. I don't know. I'm not drawing any of the cards I need. It's going really bad. I feel like at this point I saw the Potter Avarice and I was like, there's no way. What do I do about this? Let's see. I think he just starts attacking my tokens. He would just Treeborn Frog. Or he gets rid of the Treeborn Frog to special summon that, uh, that other frog. Brings out those two frogs again. Can't attack him or whatever. I draw. I set. I pass. He's just going off. So, uh, just, oh, he banishes my Kai's right, or he banishes my uh, Bangon. Uh, uh, such a terrible hit for me. Oh, he got so lucky. I'm so sad. I'm getting sad looking at this. Uh, going real bad. I book a moon. Why do I book a moon? I think he's gonna attack me. Or I think he destroyed that. I'm not really sure, honestly. Destroys another thing. Oh, uh, I had the to the Danny face down. Um. Trying to look for some kind of out. I'm trying to look for something. Like I'm like, what the heck do I grab? And bring out synchro summon. What I should have done here too is use level eater uh, to bring it out, so I have more bodies on the field, and then just have uh, my man's out. Uh, mind controls, and he beats me. That is game one. That game was forever. I didn't have an out for anything. It was really bad. Um, again, first time playing against that, so I wasn't really sure what to do or what to target. So I'm just signing stuff out. I do the usual. I think I always. Put in the Dyna, whatever, and Vanity's Emptiness. Signing here what to take out. Take out the level leader and the one for one for sure. Uh, I heard somewhere for Edison, you don't really want to side out more than like six cards. I think even three. I side out a lot all the time. I think I'm used to advanced, so I'm like... I think I try to side out the things that won't hurt my engine, like the dandies, obviously, or the uh, quick draws. And then I keep... I have three. I run three debris, so I always keep three. But I take out one, I think, when I go second. Or I go first, just in case. But yeah, so here we go, game two. I double set and pass, or triple set, I guess. One monster. Didn't really get a good hand. I remember like my next two opponents, I did not get a good hand. Like this for, this guy was the start of it. Next guy, also, the prize. Uh, turn to tribute, boom. I don't want you to sink for something. And then he's like, wait, you can't do that. And I'm like, wait, why? Oh no, I remember. I think I was talking. I was asking for Pryo because I'm trying to figure stuff out. So I wasn't sure if he had to. He had to do something first, but I fucking charge tribute for my Sangun. Add the Dandy from Sangun. Um, draw. It's my turn. Drew. I think I drew into the debris. So I kind of misplayed here, I believe. Uh, I think he beats me this game. But like, I was trying to do some crazy stuff. I was trying to like get out as many monsters as possible. Uh, let's see. I get a level seven. Oh, I try to summon Ancient Fairy. Oh, no, no, no. I win this game. I win this game. I win this game. I bring up big monsters. And I'm like, yay. Sets one pass. Mystical Space Typhoon. He uh, just calls it quits. He set and passed, hoping that he'd get something, but I just said, nah. So I literally beat him in like three minutes, four minutes tops. <laughs> we go to the next game. Um, that's something I noticed too. Whenever I won a game, or whenever the person won first and I won second, I just. I won so fast, second game. <laughs> Luckily, I got the cards I needed, but I think here, 
don't remember if I cited Cyber Dragon out. Oh, okay, so I'm a Psychopath, and I have a uh, Armory Arm in my side deck. And then I side out one of the two uh, Drill Warriors that I have in my extra deck. Because I have Colossal Fighter too, so just in case I can bring him out, I have him. Um, doesn't come out a lot, but you know I have him. So here we enemy controller. Um, I think Pryo, he targets first, but I had an enemy controller, so I was able to do that. Um, Caius goes back to his field on his turn. Pitch. Oh, I get bring the Cyber Dragon out. Oh, and then he calls a judge. I remember because uh, I think he had DDD Crow. So he's trying to banish it. He's trying to figure out if like he banishes it if this if the things still come out. But yeah, my tokens do come out, but he gets rid of them, which sucks. He gets rid of the dandy. I only have one in my deck now. Looking for a synchro summon. Um, what do I bring it out? Him uh, getting rid of that actually screws me. I had normal summon uh, the breeze dragon. I'm trying to just put bodies on the field. I kind of messed up here too, though. Um, I crash with my drill warrior, thinking there's nothing else I could do, and I attack for more attacks. But all set. Defense on my turn. Draw. Point to the solar change. Okay. Target. Okay. Attributed. Mm. Your turn. My turn. Draw. <laughs> Set and my turn. Draw. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. Normal? Mm -hmm. Battle face? Mm -hmm. Thousand? Uh, let's see, six. Minus a thousand. Twenty-four, twenty-four? Yeah. Okay. What am I at? Sorry. I fucked up. Thirty-eight after that. Oh, wait. No, I was at sixty-six, so minus a thousand. One is 24. 18? 800. I should be at 800. Draw. All set, and then my turn. Draw. Uh, normal? Uh huh. Battle face? Mm -hmm. 24? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Jeez. Jeez, man. Man, I wonder if I could have done that differently. That sucks. Um. Can I see your hand? Uh, game two, I just lost. It was a straight up failure. Um, I did my best, but you know, it happens. So we're gonna hopefully go to, uh, we're just gonna try to play again and then hope for the best. But yeah, that was, uh, that was really rough. I get what, that third game, he drew Jinzo and Vanny's Fiend, or whatever it's called. Nothing I could do about that. Absolutely nothing to do about that. But, uh, we're gonna go on and just keep going. I think I'm playing okay. I just misplayed with the Dandy or with the Dandy and also the Drill Warrior. I could have sent him to the graveyard and then done something with that, but it's okay i'm still learning this is my first like real edison tournament so it's gonna keep trying from here all right match three guess what this guy has a uh, hero sleeve so you know what that means heroes so guess what he's playing again or this guy's also playing uh frog heroes so second time playing against this uh deck and you know what gotta be honest still don't know what to do also gotta be honest i remember breaking both games uh i had terrible hands didn't really have much to do. Um, definitely screwed. I was trying to bring out some kind of miracle just so I could do something. Uh, yeah, was not having a good time. Was not having a good time. He uh, summons that one mark that sends cards back to the hand. So I enemy controller just so he doesn't really send my control back to my hand. Oop, burped. Um, not much I could do. He just has advantage. Uh, gets rid of my mirror force with Stratos. Oh, no, I think he attacks with Stratos, and then, yeah, I remember, yeah, he added a hero card with Stratos, attacks, and I got rid of his cards, and then he just starts popping off with his frogs, uh, <laughs> again, hate saying this, not much I could do when I don't have anything, uh, Treeboard Frog comes back, though, W, Mill with, uh, my, I forgot his name, that one guy, but I bring out Drill Warrior, uh, I'm feeling happy, what do I do, I can't attack? Why can't I attack? Maybe I did attack, I'm not sure. But he got rid of my Drill Warrior because of his Caius, and then destroys me. I T-Pass. T-Pass, end my turn. Uh, summons out Treeborn Frog. So much advantage. I think he runs two Treeborn Frogs, so he just can just get whatever he wants whenever he wants. Um, some, bring out the Caius. 
attack. Hoping for the best here. Gets rid of my Caius with his Caius. Attacks. Bring out my Treeborn Frog again. He's putting the Caius back in his hand with the one frog. Uh, I sell him Judgment. Brain Controls. And that is game, I believe. Yeah. Now we're going to game two. Um... I fought for a good. I fought for a while, uh, not having a good hand. So I bring out the van. I side in the van. He's emptying in the sand. I forgot what else, but I, probably the dino again. I was just like, dude, there's no way I'm playing this deck again. I feel like this guy kind of played it a little differently too. Um, I feel like he was definitely a lot more aggro. It was difficult. I feel like frog hero is really hard. They have a lot of advantage all the time, and they always have monsters. Um, don't have a lot of Edison card sales, so I feel like if I had like uh, Royal Oppression and stuff, it would have helped a lot because I feel like that shuts down frog players, um, except for Treeper Frog, because I didn't know that you could uh, keep summoning him even after you negate his summon during the semi phase. So it's an infinite loop if you keep paying for the life points. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Uh, we just are shuffling for a long time because he beat my ass really fast. <laughs> Game one. Uh, we're shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Oh my god, Marco. Like, you're still gonna lose. Just play, please. Holy shit. Let's see. See how this goes. I obviously go first, because drawing first turn is so nice. You saw the hand. Double D prison, enemy control, quick draw. I forgot what else I had. Uh, you saw the hand. I am drawing so bad. Like, how do I get double... How do I get double D prison? Or whatever it's called. And then... Freaking enemy controller. So I set one trap and one enemy control and then I pass and you know he's popping off he does whatever he wants uh I'm down bad I think I just let him oh no I uh dimensional prison him one of his cards got rid of his stratos you know bye bye hero that's W then Rageki breaks my super nimble uh that's painful uh, I really needed him much prison his uh Neos Alias whatever it's called Alias I forgot that card's really good anyway T pass um really not good not good again. Has his Reaper Frog out. Uh, attacks him to my debris. Luckily, he's a psychopath for that. <laughs> 2,000 defense. He's down 1,000. Uh, bring out Spirit Reaper. Was able to attack directly with Spirit Reaper, so I got rid of his stuff. Got rid of his one for one, I guess. Uh, I thought that would help. Saw his hand, so I think I also uh, mind crushed him, which is kind of cool. Um, special summon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, or Secret Summon. So I have a big body. I'm like, hopefully he doesn't have Caius, and then he brings out Absolute Zero. A monster. A freaking animal. Beast. I don't know how I get rid of it. I have it in defense mode, so he can't really do much. But he's just going to keep bringing out bodies. Um, terrifying, honestly. Terrifying. So I have the enemy controller set, just in case. Enemy controller. Put it defense mode. I think he did something to where he rose his attack. Oh, I think it has its attack raised because of the water monsters. So he's able to do whatever he wants. Um... I think I'm I think I'm summoned into Black Rose Dragon just to get rid of the absolute zero so I don't get any uh, fault from that. I pitch quick draw for another quick draw. He has all the advantage in the world. Uh, he already has Treeborn Frog out. I am looking terrible, honestly. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, he's looking at my deck because he's just like, yeah, I definitely have advantage. Oh my god. Now I'm like, yeah, I know you have advantage. Uh, I'm down bad. Tributes for Caius. Attacks me, pitches back the Kai's back to his hand. Um, looking at his deck, just like, man, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at your deck too, because I could do something. I have DG Crow in my hand. It is pointless. He has two Freeborn Frogs in his deck. I, The DG Crow was a, a dead draw, I gotta be honest. Be honest. Great and oh, man. Bounce back. Go ahead. My turn. Draw. That is game. That's game? Yeah. Would you would you have in your hand? Uh oh nice. But yeah, no the Game three. Got my ass beat. He I just drew bad. I don't know if you guys saw the hands, but I just kept drawing quick draw and uh debris and I couldn't do anything with them, so Oh it sucks. I'm gonna cheer myself up. I got two packs that I haven't opened and then also a little surprise, I'm going to open two of these, tournament pack 19 and tournament pack 22, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to start with tournament pack 19. I don't know what is in here. I think Kai's is in here. Kai's is in here. Alright, I think he's in the middle. Let's see. On Fire Blossom. I don't know what that is. Oh, Trap Eater. Oh, shit. I feel like this Lone Fire is a little more expensive. I might use him in the deck now. Nice. 
Again, if you don't know, I'm using Dandy. Let's open more packs to cheer ourselves up. Another uh, 19. That card sucks. That card is banned. And, oh, this card does nothing. <laughs> DDD Oracle King. All right, that sucks. Four and pack 22. I opened this really bad. Oh my god. All right, what's the first card? Tauntaun. Oh my god. Seagull Realm was good. I want to keep that. And then Tectonic Moth. And last 2022. Okay, so I think it's in the front. So we'll just do two to the front. Two to the front. I might get an expensive card. Who knows? Oh, it feels expensive. I saw what the card was. Oh no. Oh! I pure. I, I pulled the ultimate. Purely, it's like the least expensive one, but holy! The second, but it's like, eh, but holy shit! Yes! I stay losing, but I stay winning. <laughs> Fucking yo, look at that shit. Uh. <laughs> Damn! This is ins this is freaking insane to get. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. If I lose my last game, that's okay. 1-3 by Polo Ulti. Who can say that? What's up? Alright. Set 4. Game 1. Last match of the day. 4 round uh, tournament, whatever it's called. Um, I went 2nd. I think I lost a dice roll. He summons Prepper. Uh, doesn't do anything with it. Quick draw. And to Dandy. You gotta love to see it. Not running uh, Road Warrior, so can't do anything with him. Uh, what do I do here? What am I doing here? Oh, right. So I Synchro Summon uh, Bikes Better and Dandy so I can bring out Homeboy, Nitro Winner. Uh, I don't know what those two that cards are. Book of Moon. So I can attack into it. And then I attack with Nitro Warrior. Um, still don't have any idea of what he's playing yet. I could ruin it for you guys. You'll probably see soon by uh, some of the cards that he has. You'll be able to tell right now. Brings out Shura. Yes, he is playing Blackwing. So... I will say it yet again. Uh, actually, no. I have, um, I have played against Black Wings before. Uh, way back then, when Edison format was Edison format, like in 2010, 2010, 2011. Uh, my good friend played Black Wings, and I had a Synchron deck, but he destroyed me. So I actually had kind of an idea of how to play against the deck. Forgot how broken it was, though. This is probably like the best deck in the format. Um, so consistent, so amazing. Uh, it's just. It's just crazy. Uh, enough about that, though. I drew Pot of Avarice. Draw two. You know, you love to see it. Uh, didn't get the Ally of Justice, whatever that guy, Cataster. Oh, I remembered his name. Nice. Uh, super Nimble doesn't get me anything. He attacked into it. I already used its purpose. Uh, didn't really draw into much, I guess. What am I doing here? It just looks like he has advantage. He has a lot of bodies out. A little scared. Um, I think I was playing a little timid here too because I felt like Blackwing players always have the Kalut and I am terrified of that. Uh, I think he attacks me directly. I think I was asking the question if I could summon both out. You can't do that. I figured out that you can only activate like one hand thing per chain kind of type beat. So I bring out the Gores. I thought Gores was like better. Um, hits into my token but it doesn't go to the graveyard so Shuro's effect doesn't activate. Then I take damage so then I... Uh, Trigodia, Mystical Space Typhoon, that bad boy. Have one card in my hand. Set and pass. Uh, don't know why I brought the Trigodia, really. I think maybe I was trying to bait him into attack just so he thinks something. Set the giant true nade like a psychopath. Tributes the sh uh, Shura for some reason. Um, so he makes one really big and then he can't attack. So Trigodia is still safe. I set and pass. Um, he just has the event right now. I don't know. I don't really know what to do. He attacks over. It attacks into me. Has a turn. I have two face down. I think he's gonna beat me. Enemy controller. Cause I'm terrified. Um, still alive. Oh no! I lost. <laughs> I lost game one. The classic. The Marco classic. Always lose game one. Into hopefully winning. We'll see. Uh, I am signing in what I can right now. What am I taking now? I took out a Raiko. Took out something else. Yada yada. Took out Gores. Took out something else. I didn't take out Gores. I don't know what I'm taking out. I don't remember. It's the video is going too fast. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I did some stuff. Uh, 
Did I side in on DD Crow? Maybe I thought, like, since he could, like, special someone from the graveyard, I want to get rid of stuff like that. And then if he has the, uh, what, what is it? The one card that Synchro Summons from the graveyard? I forgot his name. Bayou Turbo? Yeah. That card. Yeah, whatever. I know that's deck, but yeah, that guy. He just summoned him. That guy's scary. So Dimensional Prison him. So he doesn't have him. Good job, me. Uh, triple sets and passes. I'm like, oh my god, that's terrifying. I'm gonna call Mind Crush. I super yodeled this, actually, which was insane to me. Uh, I called Kalut, and I was like, you fucking have it. I know you do. And he did. I cannot, I cannot believe that worked. I super duper heavy read him, and then I heavy storm and got rid of everything. Uh, he drew really bad from what it seems like. I set one, pass, let him attack me, he tribute summons, fall in the trapple. I set another one, pass. Um, yeah, that mind crush is still mind boggling because I had no idea if he had collude or not, but I feel like Blackwing players always have it, so you know. Then I trapped Subshoe, I got rid of, uh, forgot what monster he had, but you know, activate Black Whirlwind, activate Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, as the lore still draws into stuff, uh, we're both fighting for our lives. I tribute for Kaius. I banish that bitch. Fallen with Trapples. Still loses a thousand. Uh, this match is going back and forth. This is a really good game, actually. This is probably, besides the Dragon Turbo, this is probably my next favorite match. Uh, obviously, because the last two I lost, but this one's going pretty well. I giant true nade for Vanny's emptiness. I'm like, you're not going to special summon anymore, buddy. Big guy. So. I don't think he has an out for this, hopefully. He just sets and passes. Uh, that's the Sirocco, I think that's the name. I'm looking at my graveyard to see what I can do. Pot of Avarice. I wanted to draw two more. Put that DD Crow in just so I could banish more stuff. It is looking good for me. Draw two. What did I draw into? Don't remember. Maybe a Raikou. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see what you do, big guy. The Noble and Cross outs my, uh, my fossil guy. Piece of shit. I tribute for Caius, like a psychopath, uh, get rid of another monster. I was like, I don't care. Dimensional prison. I am just getting rid of all this shit. I go into that. He's like going to activate his set. I'm scared. I'm like, what should I do? Um, I think I got rid of, I just went directly into my Titanial. He gives up luckily. <laughs> um, I was scared that he was waiting for like a torrential tribute or something. I don't know, but he uh, gave up. I don't know if the set was a bluff, but I guess it was. So we're going on to game two. I am like, did I side anything out? I sided something out. I don't remember. Probably the Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragon's so good second. It's insane. I'm doing the super duper crazy shuffle. Uh, my friend Josue thinks this is cringe, but I think Josue is more cringe, so I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, we shuffled good. We're waiting for him. Going to game three. This is game three here. Uh, don't remember what I drew. Gores, two dandies, a giant true native Sorrento tribute, I believe. Terrible fucking hand. Oh my god. Lords of Darkness. I'm jealous. Dino Fossil. Like it's gonna do something. I Giant True Nade because I'm probably bluffing. <coughs> what am I bluffing? He's trying to negate it. Yeah, he negated that like a psychopath. He like really, definitely didn't want me to get rid of those cards. He probably thought I was gonna like kill him that turn. But you know, maybe with me doing that, I was kind of bluffing. He Dina. Uh, I just set pass. I'm like, oh my god, my hand sucks. I'm just waiting for him to summon something. He summons something. Oh, he just attacks. Uh, my defense on Blowfire Bl Blossom is 1,400. The dinosaur has 1,200. I tribute for uh, Caius. And then I change Torrential Tribute because I'm like, I'm going to get rid of your shit. Don't, don't care. Probably a dumb play as well. I right, quick draw. Dandy. Synchro summoning. You know how it is. Drill Warrior. I'm just, I'm like... In my head, I'm just like, I just need to bait out your, your freaking sets. Like, I don't care. You're not going to kill me this turn. It's fine. I have one token out. That's why I went for the six. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let the rest of the video play. Uh, it's probably towards the end of the match. Uh, I, I have see, my jewelry out. He asked okay. a question about it, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Or that mm -hmm. And then battle. Yeah. 24. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and on my turn. I was gonna look you heavy that one card, but then you said that I was like, it's no what? When you when you pay this pay you were the being the same card. I had a heavy on the card. I was like a little, a little green. Go ahead. My turn. turn draw. Uh, <laughs> battle, twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> I got it? Yeah, I didn't draw until... Oh my yeah. god, I'm so sorry. Uh, game, or fourth match, I got it, got it. I think you guys saw, uh, I won it, like, towards the end. Let's see, first game, I don't remember. Second game, beat him super fast. Third game, uh, I drew double Caius, I believe? 
and I drew into Torrential Tribute, but I didn't have any, any way to like tribute him until like towards the end. But luckily he breaks super hard and I was able to win, as you'll see in the video. But um, oh my god, I was super close. Uh, I just kept beating into him with Vanity Sphine or whatever his name is, and I was able to win. So I went 2 2 today. Um, definitely need to change up something with the Dandy deck. Uh, tried Level Eater with 1 for 1, and it was not good. <laughs> I think it is good. Like, you could, if you draw the 1 for 1 and you have monsters in your hand, you can bring out Treeborn Frog, which will what you'll usually do, or you can bring out the level eater if you want to single summon a lot, but I think I need to do some more testing to figure some stuff out, but yeah, that's going to do it for me today, I think. I think I am done. Uh, Tutu will see if I top right now, but yeah, we'll see. I didn't place. Pain. Pain. Oh, that's going to do it for the video. Didn't top. Didn't go Don't get anything. It's okay. Hopefully for the next one we do a little better. Add a center advance. I'll do something, but uh, that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe. Definitely going to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, so be sure to be there for that. And tell your friends. Later. I'm so sweaty. I look gross. I'm going to go eat.